Paris showed that we are at war with radical Islam. Do you agree with that characterization, radical Islam? I don't think we're at war with Islam. I don't think we're at war with all Muslims. I think we're at war with jihadists who have... Just to interrupt, uh, he, he yes. didn't say all Muslims. He just said radical Islam. Is that a phrase you don't... I, I think that you can, you can talk about Islamists who um, clearly are also jihadists, but I think it's, it, it's not particularly helpful to make the case that uh, Senator Sanders was just making that I agree with, that we've got to reach out to Muslim countries, we've got to have them be part of our coalition. If they hear people running for uh, president who basically shortcut it to say we are somehow against Islam. That was one of the real contributions, despite all the other problems that George W. Bush made after 9-11 when he basically said, after going to a mosque in Washington, we are not at war with Islam or Muslims. We are at war with violent extremism. We are at war with people who use their religion for purposes of power and oppression. Um, and yes, we are at war with those people, but I don't want us to be painting with too broad a brush. The reason I ask is that you gave a speech at Georgetown University in which you said that it was important to show, quote, respect even for one's enemies trying to understand and, insofar as psychologically possible, empathize with their perspective and point of view. Can you explain what that means in the context of this kind of barbarism? I think with this kind of barbarism and nihilism, um, it's very hard to understand, other than the lust for power, the rejection of modernity, the total disregard for human rights, uh, freedom, or any other value that we know and uh, respect. Historically, it is important to try to understand your adversary in order to figure out how they are thinking, what they will be doing, how they will react. Um, I, I plead uh, that it's very difficult when you deal with uh, ISIS and organizations like that whose, whose behavior is so barbaric and so vicious uh, that it doesn't seem to have any purpose other than lust for killing and power and